The idea that the Eiffel Tower can grow taller in summer is a fascinating phenomenon related to the expansion and contraction of materials with temperature changes the Eiffel Tower made predominantly of iron is subject to thermal expansion and contraction in hot weather the metal expands due to the increased temperature, causing the entire structure to grow taller conversely in colder temperatures the metal contracts causing a reduction in height. As a general estimate it suggested that the Eiffel Tower can expand by up to 6 inches or 15 centimeters during extremely hot temperatures. This expansion is not visually noticeable, and the tower is designed to accommodate such variations without compromising its structural integrity. The engineers who designed the Eiffel Tower took into account the thermal expansion and contraction of the materials to ensure the stability and safety of the iconic structure. While the expansion is real the change in height is relatively small and not noticeable to the naked eye this interesting feature showcases the engineering considerations involved in constructing iconic structures susceptible to thermal variations. Cows have best friend, cows are social animals that form close bonds with each other, and these strong social connections are often referred to as best friendships among cows. Cows are naturally herd animals, and they thrive in social environments. Being part of a herd provides them with a sense of security companionship and mutual support. Within a herd cows establish a social hierarchy they form friendships and bonds with specific individuals within the group based on factors like age temperament and familiarity, and they also communicate with each other through various vocalizations body language and grooming behaviors these interactions help strengthen social bonds and maintain a sense of cohesion within the herd. Cows are known to experience emotions including joy stress and fear. Forming close bonds with specific individuals can provide emotional support and comfort reducing stress and promoting well-being. Mutual grooming is a common behavior among cows they use their tongues to groom each other's heads necks and backs this grooming ritual not only helps keep their coats clean but also strengthens social bonds. Cows benefit from having companions to provide protection against predators additionally cooperation within the herd can be advantageous for tasks like finding food or navigating their environment. Having a best friend or close companion has been observed to have a calming effect on individual cows. Being in the presence of a familiar and trusted companion can help reduce stress and anxiety. Cows have a good memory and can recognize and remember individual members of the herd even after periods of separation this recognition contributes to the development of specific social bonds. Mother cows form strong bonds with their calves and these bonds can extend to other members of the herd calves in turn often form bonds with their peers reinforcing the social fabric of the group. The complex social structure and behaviors observed in cows demonstrate their capacity for forming meaningful relationships within their herds while the term best friends may be a human interpretation of these social bonds it reflects the close and supportive relationships that can develop among individual cows within a herd. Honey never spoils is a fascinating fact rooted in the unique properties of honey has low water content usually around 17%. The low moisture content creates an environment where bacteria and microorganisms cannot easily thrive or reproduce. Honey has an acidic pH ranging from 3.2 to 4.5 This acidic environment also inhibits the growth of bacteria and spoilage microorganisms. 
Honey is hygroscopic meaning it absorbs moisture from the air this characteristic contributes to its low water activity making it an inhospitable environment for spoilage organisms and also contains natural preservatives such as hydrogen peroxide and certain phytochemicals these substances have antimicrobial properties further preventing the growth of bacteria and fungi bees at an enzyme called glucose oxidase to honey during the nectar to honey conversion process this enzyme produces more Amounts of hydrogen peroxide contributing to honey's antibacterial properties. Over time honey may crystallize especially at lower temperatures crystallization does not indicate spoilage it's a natural process where glucose separates from water to return honey to a liquid state gentle warming is all that's needed. Archaeologists have found pots of honey in ancient Egyptian tombs that are thousands of years old and still perfectly edible The longevity of honey has been recognized throughout history While honey has an impressive resistance to spoilage it's important to note that the quality of honey can be influenced by factors such as temperature exposure to light and moisture stored properly Honey can remain edible for an incredibly long time making it one of the few foods that do not spoil Antarctica is often considered the world's largest desert by the traditional definition of a desert as a region with very low precipitation Antarctica receives extremely low levels of precipitation primarily in the form of snow. It is one of the driest places on earth with annual precipitation averaging around 2 inches or 50 millimeters in some parts despite being covered in ice Antarctica is a desert because it experiences cold temperatures that limit the ability of air to hold moisture the air is generally very dry contributing to the desert like conditions Antarctica is classified as a polar desert sharing characteristics with other deserts such as low humidity low precipitation and harsh climatic conditions there. Extreme cold high winds and dry air make it a challenging environment the majority of Antarctica is covered by a vast ice sheet that contains about 60% of the world's fresh water the Antarctic ice sheet is miles thick and represents a significant portion of the Earth's total ice the harsh environmental conditions and limited precipitation in Antarctica result in sparse vegetation only a few hardy mosses lichens and algae can survive in this extreme environment wind erosion is a significant Factor in shaping the landscape of Antarctica The strong catabatic winds which flow from high elevations down to the coast can erode and transport snow and ice. Antarctica is recognized as the world's largest desert due to its extremely low precipitation levels averaging around 2 inches annually in some areas despite being covered in ice the continent experiences desert-like conditions with cold temperatures that limit atmospheric moisture classified as a polar desert Antarctica features harsh climatic conditions including high winds and dry air the vast Antarctic ice sheet which holds a substantial portion of the world's fresh water covers the Majority of the continent this extreme environment supports only sparse vegetation comprising hardy mosses lichens and algae wind erosion plays a significant role in shaping Antarctica's landscape as powerful catabatic winds transport and erode snow and ice overall Antarctica stands as a remarkable example of a desert environment characterized by its challenging conditions and unique icy terrain. The Great Wall of China is one of the world's most iconic and historically significant the Great Wall stretches over 13,000 miles or 21,000 kilometers across northern China. It is not a single continuous wall but a series of walls and fortifications built by different dynasties over centuries. Construction of the Great Wall began in the 7th century BC and continued for several centuries. The most well-known sections were built during the Ming Dynasty. The primary purpose of the Great Wall was to provide defense against invasions by nomadic tribes and military incursions it served as a barrier to protect Chinese states and empires. 
The wall was constructed using various materials including wood bricks and other locally available resources. The most well-preserved sections of the Great Wall were built during the Ming Dynasty. During this period the wall was extended and rebuilt to include watchtowers and garrison stations. The Great Wall is dotted with watchtowers and fortifications strategically placed along its length. These structures served as lookout points, signaling stations, and places for soldiers to garrison them. Great Wall of China is a symbol of Chinese civilization resilience and architectural achievement. It is recognized as a Wusko World Heritage Site and one of the new seven wonders of the world. The idea that the Great Wall is visible from space with the naked eye is a popular myth. While it can be seen from low Earth orbit it is challenging to discern from a greater distance without aid. Many sections of the Great Wall are open to tourists attracting millions of visitors each year. Popular sections include Beidaling, Nishiniyu, and Jinshanling. The Great Wall is sometimes referred to as the longest cemetery in the world due to the large number of laborious and soldiers who died during its construction and defense over the centuries. The Great Wall of China stands as a testament to ancient Chinese engineering and military strategies reflecting both the challenges and determination of the civilizations that built and maintained it.